it today is Tuesday, March 21st. Today is Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, 7, 7 10, I'm sorry, 7 12 p.m. I'd like to call the Youth Issues Committee uh, to order. Uh, President, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, President Richard Lee, I mean, Chair Richard Lee, and uh, Vice Chair Barbara Tyson. And uh, Angela Springs, Secretary, could you call the roll call, please? Okay. <clears throat> Richard Lee? Here. Barbara Tyson? Angela Springs here. Jackie Jackson? Frankie Mays? Frankie, you here? Uh, present. Fred Nichols? R.B. Powell? Present. Nikisha Scott. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Does it, does everybody have the agenda? Yes, I do. Yeah. Frankie has okay. It. Good. Good. All right. Um, I'm going to call for uh, general public comments for non-agenda items that are within the board jurisdiction. If there's anybody who would like to, um, if anybody who's on the call, who'd like to uh, make uh, comments at this point, at this time, please do. We're gonna uh, allow 10 minutes for this, but two minutes for each uh, person making comments. Anyone for public comments? Okay, not hearing any, hearing none. I'd like to go ahead on to item number three on the agenda, uh, the uh, approval of the February 21 uh, Youth Issues Committee minutes. And we have to vote on that. So. Uh, I don't know because the, I wasn't at the present at the last meeting and when I went online to the website, I didn't see it. So I informed. Apparent, apparently we didn't uh, take any, uh, we didn't take any minutes uh, because we didn't have a, a, a quorum then, but what we did was we went over the agenda basically. Okay, so, so you're no okay. Minutes. So okay. you're okay, so we don't have any minutes from from the from the meeting on uh, February 21st. Okay. Okay, so I want to go to item number uh, so we'll just move on. So I want to go to uh, the uh, item number four, planting day for be uh, beautify Stanford Avenue and partnership with local schools and stakeholders. And that was uh, that was uh, uh, involved involving the 116th Street School. So um, Miguel, can you tell us what, where we are now on that? All right, sure. Um, currently right now, I am in the process of, um, of waiting for uh, the, uh, the results on the uh, permit from Jerry. Uh, right now, I already sent, I sent up everything. I sent him the permitting papers, uh, the landscape plan, as well as the plant list. Uh, we didn't really need an irrigation um, system plan because it's all going to be drought resistant plants. So, um, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty much it. You know, it's, uh, you know, we're still waiting on it. Hopefully it gets approved within a couple of weeks. Um, we should be seeing this whole project into completion probably like in uh, the month of April. Uh, but it, it, but then again, it just depends on you know how how fast and how quick they uh, approve of the the permit. Do you expect to hear from them in the next couple of weeks? Yes, before April, or just in April? Uh, before April, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, yes. If not, then you know it's just it, it, yeah, it's a question of them approving the um, the permits and then from there I can go to downtown LA res uh, retrieve the uh, prepaid debit card and then from there right. we can start planning things 
Uh, who are you partnering with to do the planting? Uh, we have a volunteer list. Uh, we could have uh, people from the uh, Stanford Community um, Garden as well. Uh, we have some people that are that signed up already. I've tried okay. contacting Bellevue Church if they wanted to participate, but uh, they're pretty hard to communicate. Um, they're not really answering their phone. So, um, yeah. To someone, would it help if somebody walked around there and knocked on the door during the daytime at Bellevue? I tried. Um, it doesn't seem like no one's there when I, when I do, um, you know, go there and stuff early in the afternoon. Maybe it might be a better time to go over there. It would be a better time to go over there. It might be Sunday. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let, we can talk about that. Would anybody be? Let's talk about that off, offline and uh, check in and see if anybody might want to go around with us to uh, check in on a Sunday after church. Yeah, sure. I, I could do that on my own. You don't have to do that. It's, it's all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. What would I you prefer? I, I could go. I just, I just don't want... Um, yeah, I, I could do it. Don't worry. That's good. Okay. All right. So, what I'd like to do now, that, that's, that's moving right along. Uh, I... If, if you're following your agenda, you will see a 311 education project for students in AHG NNC schools. Uh, that would, uh, let, me, let me give you a little background. The, th the 311 program, <clears throat> uh, we, we are supposed to get that uh, information out to our uh, stakeholders and colleagues in the community. Hunting 18th Street School would be targeted because they have that area near 118th, and that's on Main Street, I believe, uh, that could, uh, that would uh, be, uh, be applied. And also right there on uh, Stanford, between 108, behind the 16th uh, place and uh, 118th Street. So three, what we've done in the past, uh, is right here in this neighborhood. We, we've taken a pro, the, pro, the 311 program to educate students and faculty at um, Skirval, Skirval uh, High School or Middle School, right there on, uh, <clears throat> right there on Avalon and 115th Street. Uh, we, uh, the idea is to get the, um, the message out we did this in, in about about three to four years ago. We actually co co uh, combined information about 311, how to use it, how to ac access city uh, assistance for cleanups in the neighborhood. But there was a major large uh, uh, cleanup that day uh, with the students and the uh, Bureau of Sanitation and, uh, and, and, and faculty, let them know how to use 311, access the service. And uh, Bureau of Sanitation brought uh, shovels and I'm sorry, the Board of Public Works uh, had a program that brought uh, shovels and brooms and all of that material to uh, clean up the streets and students got out there and did that one afternoon and uh, they had trucks that came through to pick up all the uh, pick up all the uh, refuse and the uh, the piles of uh, trash and refuse that was uh, picked up. So we were thinking that we want to I want to give that to the community. I mean, to the committee. And uh, as a suggestion, we might want to do that same kind of thing again. But we want to target 116th Street School because of that project, that landscape project, it was right there. And also 118th Street School, because Main Street right in that area is hit hard. And I'm just gonna pass this, I'm just passing this on to the committee. Is that something that we want to, uh, to uh, uh, take up again? 
take it back to the board and then do that again. Anybody? I'm not understanding. What, what do you want the committee to do? Well, just uh, uh, approve, not approve, but just uh, uh, take this up as a as a as a uh, a project that we can do. Three hundred three one one education outreach. Um. Well, Richard, you, are we, well, what, we're going to be in charge of organizing it with the city and everything, or, or is yeah, it, it, it? It would be a project that we would do. We, of course, have to take this to the board and let them know that we'd like to uh, take that, um, you know, take that on as a project again. It's not, it's not anything that we're going to do any uh, soon because we have to take it to our board. Yeah, but of course, then, okay. it's, a, it's a proposal from this committee. I'm saying, what what are we taking to the board? We have three one one. Uh, we talking about the pamphlets, or uh, it could be pamphlets. It could be a presentation. It could be. Uh, they actually, what we did the last time is we had a PowerPoint uh, to inform people how to how to use three one one. Mm. Yeah, but then, okay, you're going to, okay, um, if you do a PowerPoint, would that, would that include a, a, able to have a facility, the auditorium or something where we'd have to find out. Yeah, because you have to that, and then you're going to probably have to offer some refreshments or something, you know, if we get the kids to participate. And around this time of year, is it is it going to be on the weekend? This is elementary, right? Yes. I don't know how we're going to do it. I'm just saying it's, uh, we're putting it out there as a proposal to this committee mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to determine whether or not, as a committee, you would like to undertake this at some point in time. Well, I don't know what timeline are you looking at? Because right now, well, this is going to be April pretty soon. Um, spring break is going to be happening pretty soon. And also, I don't know, they get out of school in May or June. And plus graduation is around the corner. Um, I don't know if we have to order, you know, have incentives, you know, for them, you know, for the, if we go get the school and the parents to participate, you know, besides the project, you know, and everything. So what's, you know, the kids gonna say, well, what's in it for me? And, you know, unless they get community hours or something like that, or, or education about the environment. We've done this before, and uh, everything that you uh, everything that you suggested were things that we uh, that we uh, actually uh, we actually did. I think I don't think that the students got uh, uh, what what do you call it? Uh, out, what are those hours that the students get for yeah, community, community uh, hours? Yeah. Yeah, some schools they give community, you know, community. Community. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, community credits, is that what it was, RV? Well, I think so. I don't know what they call it now, but I think something or they get, you know, something, you know, uh, count towards something. Yeah, I don't they, know. That's, that's a question that I cannot answer now. That's a question that I cannot answer right now. We have to do some research to find out if we could get that. But what I'm asking right now is whether or not we want to uh, take that on as a uh, as a project with uh, at least two of our schools, 116th and uh, 118th, where we were, and we we would tie that into a uh, a project project that we have. For example, we're we know that right there on Main Street, uh, near 118th Street School, that's a hard hit area. And mm -hmm. uh, it might be a good thing. It might be a good thing to do this, to uh, just get to, uh, you know, just to get uh, stakeholders and uh, which, uh, which 
which our schools are stakeholders too, and students on how to use one three one one and use three one one to get uh, to clean to get to service yeah. in their area. Can uh, okay. I ask a question, Mr. Lee? Mr. Lee, this is Barbara. Were you guys waiting for me to make a quorum before we, um, or we already started the meeting? Just, I'm just asking the question because I'm here listening, I think, but I didn't I know. Think it's yeah, we got a quorum. Yeah, we're going to have a quorum now. I know. <laughs> So we I was just like, saying, so the meeting, oh. if I was to hold up, I've been here like about at least 10, at least about 10 minutes, but I didn't want to interrupt because I was, but if we need to take roll call or anything, I'm here. I called. Hello, Did I call everybody. Call? Fine. We're good. I Where's think we're good. We just Hi. need to add her to the meeting. Okay, thank you. I'm here. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Hey, Angela, did I call the roll call early on? Yeah, we had yes. roll call. Yeah, we had it. Yeah, yeah okay. we, are, we are in our sure. meeting and we okay. do have a form. So uh, thank you for letting us know that you're in, Robert. Go okay. ahead, Richard. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. 311 education project for students at our schools. Do we want to take that on? Um, when you say project, 31, I don't think 311 is a project. It's just uh, it's a, it's information for those that uh, yeah. use yeah. the, um, the 311. So if I think that we can probably just um, actually get uh, some pamphlets and actually provide uh, the schools with the pamphlets for um, you know three one one. And if we um, take on as far as not a project, but you know you want to get the the kids or the the, the parents or whoever to know then we, you have to find out when they are meeting um, at their school so that you can just present the 311. Um, you know. Right? Huh? Is that what you're saying, the pamphlets? When yeah, there's... You know, they, have, they have some new pamphlets that they had gave out during the inauguration, so uh, for the 311. Um, basically, what I can see is in, in dealing with some of these schools and uh, 118th Street schools seem like they don't want volunteers to come or whatever you got to go through, seem like their um, LA, LA Unified School Volunteer Program um, that they have. So, um, yeah, now 116th uh, principal is more lingual than 118th. She would take the information and you know, probably pass it out to her uh, parents there. Oh, okay. So because of the strike and because they're going on spring break, um, it's gonna be hard to try to do it as a project or maybe next year we'll probably you know, do something like that. Okay. Anybody else wanna weigh in on that? Uh, I don't know about the principals, but they're kind of really like, oh, you know, they're really not open like they used to be, what I'm used to. They're more, um, um, they're not, you have to go through a lot of channels or they don't be responsive like they used to be. I know. I know. It's not easy to uh to to communicate the uh, the ideas anymore. Yeah. Since we've been, uh -huh. since we've been kind of like uh, away. Yeah. yeah, and it's kind of it's slowly getting back. But you know, do they have PTAs? Uh, the PTA at the schools? Do they have still have that, or is still kind of you know? Parent parent councils. They were um, they they have another name for it now. I haven't been around to any of the schools in a year, so I don't know exactly what they have, but I know that uh, at Skirball, 
and environmental environmental uh the one up there on a hundred uh, right around the corner from where we used to meet that middle school up there they used to have a uh, parent councils around it uh, environmental uh environmental uh sciences i think was high school we actually had a presentation there several years ago uh, where the parents came in, you know, um, in the evening and they used to meet like once monthly or something like that. And we actually had, a, we had uh, and we actually uh, had a uh, 311 uh, presentation, we had pamphlets, and we also had a, uh, uh, what, what do they call that? A, uh, not a film, called it a uh, PowerPoint. Uh, for everyone we got them up to speed on how to use that and use it effectively so when i say project i mean i mean overall project i'm not talking about a physical project i'm just talking about getting that information out to the schools in our area give them the update on how to use that stuff so the question is still on the floor. Is that something that uh, that's something we want to do, or at least try to do that? And I think it's not, a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Not necessarily do it this uh, this year. You know, this uh, this term. Maybe we want to do that next year, but uh, we have to find out whether or not it would be something that. Uh, and I, you know, that, that that's feasible. But but I will tell you this, all of you all are making some very good points about that. It's rough to do it. It's not easy to do it as it was like six years ago. You could just call, go in and talk to a principal and make that kind of stuff happen. So it's there, it's on the agenda. And I think the schools are more cautious now because of all the things that are going on. Sure, exactly. I think so too, Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is because now, you know, they want people to be fingerprinted and all that kind of stuff. If you be, you know, working around with the kids and things like that, depending on what, uh, what one does, you know, with the kids or with the students. Right. Uh, volunteering and things like that. And you know, which which is okay, you know, it's, you know, yeah. about safety. Right, because people going into the school shooting and carrying on, it's, they really have to be cautious. Right. Um, right. Well, the thing about getting information and things like that, the 311. We can just leave it, huh? We can just take um, it. Well, you know what? It could be... It kind of could be a community thing over in that area to pass out the flyers or something, you know, right. or, you know, pass them out in front of the school. Things like that. Could do that. Mm -hmm. I would like to suggest, and I'd like to volunteer myself to, uh, you know, uh, let me just tell you what happened a couple of weeks ago. I mean, last week, Representatives from Skirball was talking, walking down the street, uh, uh, down 115th Street, and I saw them. They came to my door, and we talked for a minute. And I left my card with them. What I what I could do is I could reach out to Skirball, where we actually did this before, and see what their uh, their take is on it, and bring it back to you guys next month when we meet. I'd be willing to do that and find out just to test and see uh, if they would be uh, interested in this kind of a thing. An education, uh, uh, doing education outreach on 311. Is that okay? Sounds okay to me. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, it seems okay. Anybody That's else? Yeah, education. So you know what I was thinking? Um, yes. Mm, I don't know. It might be repetitive. It might go through a lot of hoops. You want to keep it simple as possible. If if you can get somebody from that works with three one one. 
Well, that's that's kind of like the, what I was getting at. What we what we did is we had some. Well, we have to have an audience of students or whatever, and let them do the presentation. But first, before we even try to do that, I believe that it would be uh, worth our while if I just go down there and talk with uh, the coordinator. Because, you know, there's a person at uh, Skirball who's in, in charge of that kind of thing. And he might give us maybe an hour or two to uh, talk to the students and maybe, uh, and maybe, now I don't know, maybe parents and school students one, one afternoon about 311. And we could bring someone from the 311 uh, department the city yeah, of what's the age group, age range at Skarba? Is it a, a elementary, middle school, or high school? Elementary, middle school, and high school. It's a what? Mm -hmm. Elementary, middle school, and high school. Oh, it's all in one. Oh. It can be. Or it could be just, you know, one, one faction per uh, presentation. But the idea is to do the educational outreach. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like what Angela said about taking uh taking the pamphlets there first and uh getting getting so what I need to do is get a few of those pamphlets and uh go there, go there to Skirball, because right up the street from me. And uh, you know, just take them with me when I have a present when I when I have a meeting with whoever. I meet there that I'm going to uh, that I can arrange it for. It can be a coordinator or a principal or a vice, but somebody in authority. That's what I mean. Okay, so it sounds like everybody's in favor of finding out at least finding out what we can do. Because I can't really talk about anything now because I don't know exactly what they'd be uh, willing to uh, do. Am I on track? Is everybody okay? And letting me, letting me go down and test, test the waters at a couple of those schools, at least starting with Skirball? Well, it's fine with me to get the reception, see how they, how they, you know, say, you know. But then they're on strike right now, so. So I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Stay out of the way, no. Richard. Maybe the next uh, week. <laughs> Maybe next week we'll see what they. We have to. I have to keep watching the news and see what they do. Well, that's good, Richard. Okay. You can go and find out. Um, but you know they'll be going on spring break too in a minute. So right, and then yeah. come back and report to you guys what I find. Okay. Yeah, you got to do it real soon because they be going out of. They be um school be ending after a while. That's some. And 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 would you all uh, would you all uh, forgive me if I if I don't have all that information when I come back because of that because people are going out and all that kind of stuff I'll get on it as soon as possible but if I don't have all the information would you guys uh, be okay with that at least a little at least uh, just enough to uh, hopefully I'll have enough to give us. Uh, that we can get us some kind of a start on this. Is that okay, everyone? Sounds yeah. fine to me. Yeah, okay, good. I won't be upset. Okay, great. I'm okay with it. Well, I'm, you know, I roll with the flow. We here to get along. <laughs> <laughs> We're together. I'm here. Okay. I want to move on number six now. I want to move on to number six, item number six. The Los Angeles uh, Youth Development Department. I don't know anything about that except they uh, the that's a that's a department that the mayor oversees, and it's a good thing because what they do is they will do training for uh, youth and, and also young adults, young adults. But they'll be paying for people to participate in that, uh, and I think it's. Per meeting, and what I saw was per meeting, you're going to give youth and or young adults uh, $300. 
per meeting to do that. Now I need to find out more about it, but uh, there is the department and they're gonna start taking applications from people who would like to be part of that in on June 1, they're gonna start then. So what we need to do is we need to think about youth in our community, our young adults in our community who might want to uh, participate on that. Uh, we, there's more information, there's a website, I don't have it right now, but I'll send it to everybody and you can take a look at it and uh, it should be more information about it. Does anybody remember Axel Palacos? That guy? I, I can remember that name. Remember him? Okay, all right. He was involved in that, but uh, Rosalie told me that he uh, has, has moved on. So we have to get our point of contact uh, from there. And I need to talk to that person so I can take some notes and I can come back and tell you guys more about that. Because we would like to, we would like to have some young adult or youth from our community to represent, to represent uh, our area on that, on that council. Because I, I know they had it three to four years ago. And I went to a couple of meetings and it was really good because they were involved in, in community improvement and they were uh, involving youth you know, to do that. But we didn't have anybody from Harbor Gateway North or South on that, uh, com on that committee. Now that people are starting to meet again and, thing and that and that kind of uh, thing, it, 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 we have the opportunity to do that. Uh, and I, I'm telling you uh, about that because even though there is, uh, even though there is a a, a strike pending pending in the uh, in LAUSD, the uh, youth uh, committee is is the age range goes up to 21, I think. I'll, I'll say 21. It might have been 24 back then, but definitely the age range goes up to 21. So you can get, we could get students who live in our neighborhood that go to Cal State Dominguez that might wanna participate, participate in that. And also they might go to Southwest or something like that. And this are, so because they, they fall within the uh, rage, the age range. But I wanna get more information out to you guys about as soon as I get it myself. Anybody else want to chime in on that? Without, with, although since I don't hear anything, does everybody clear about? Is everybody clear about what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay, great, great. I know because sometimes I can, I can, I make it a little bit uh, confusing, and I don't mean to. I'm trying to just, uh, you know, can. I'm trying to communicate the information that I have to you guys. All right, if there's nothing else, if anybody doesn't, uh, if there's anything more to uh, talk about the LA Youth Council, number six, I don't want to go to number seven, announcements. Now, there's one announcement here on Saturday, March 25th, that's upcoming, eight to uh, 10 a.m., a clean California community day is taking place. Where is this? Along with uh, Gardena Boulevard or is, is organized by the Environmental Charter School of, uh, for CD15. Now, I don't know anything about it, but it's on uh, March 25th and that's Saturday, eight to 10. And I think it's gonna be along Gardena Boulevard. And it's organized by Environmental Charger, Charter Middle School and, and Caltrans. So if right. anybody wants to participate in that, I guess check in with uh, Environmental uh, Charter Middle School and find out where they're going to start. And we know there's, we know, uh, we know that it's uh, from 8 until 10, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and that uh, we're invited to participate to get in, I, I guess it's gonna be a community cleanup. Right, I think it's gonna meet, they're gonna meet at the Boys and Girls Club. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, Boulevard yeah. and uh, Caltrain is going to supply the gloves, trash bags, and goggles. And, and brooms. And, right. And there also is going to be a cleanup at 145 East 108th Street at the police department. It's like a national Caltrain clean street time. So they're also oh, really? going to be doing cleanup at the police station on 108th and Main from the doing this time, 8 to 10. So I think Good. they're just going to be cleaning up in a lot of areas and they're going to supply the equipment. Good. How did you find out about that? Uh, we found out that, did we discuss that in our meeting, Angela? And then when they did the, uh, when the, uh, that was the CPAP meeting we had. Yeah, yeah, CPAP meeting, yeah, and we discussed it meeting, our, um, last month. We, we discussed in our outreach meeting, and we also discussed it on Saturday when the council had the meeting in Gardena, 186th Street School. Okay, sure. Okay. I got it. Okay. And so, it's, on our, it's on our website also. Okay. So encourage people to take a look at our website, you know, stakeholders in our neighborhood to uh, participate in that particular cleanup. Okay, on Saturday, April 1st, there's a spring egg roll at Ro Rosecrans Recreation Center, 801 West 148th Street from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And now a roll, an egg roll, I'm not really sure what that is, but I think it's something like an Easter egg hunt in a sense. Somebody, if, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Anybody know about that? I don't know. Well, they discussed that, but we don't know too much about what. Uh, I think it's more like a. I don't know what they mean by egg roll or anything like that. Unless they have some type of craft or something. At you the think park. it was something to eat? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> a hard boy. Egg. egg roll. Shoot, I'll come around <laughs> and get an egg roll. No, I think it's egg roll. <laughs> Okay. Well, I don't even know we can be able to because you know that's the same day of the election so oh sure that's right so we can but anyway it's from 11 a.m to 2 p.m that day April 1st all right is there anything else anybody else like is there anything else anyone wants to announce and there will be a free shred day on election day from 10 to 2. Yeah. Stri stri oh. Okay, that's that's there. And please uh, let stakeholders in the neighborhood, people in your neighborhood, know that that's happening, and uh, that they can participate. They can bring all of their uh, used uh, or recycled recycled paper and get it shredded. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, if there's not anything else, I'd like to adjourn, adjourn this adjourn this meeting, but to remind you, the next meeting date is Tuesday, April 18th at 7 p.m. So we will be in person at 555 West Redondo Beach Boulevard, room 205. 555 West Redondo Beach Boulevard, room 205. Okay. April 18th, at 7 p, uh, 7, 7 p.m. So if there's nothing else, I call this meeting adjourned at 7.50. Okay, good night. Good night. Goodbye, everybody. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Okay, thanks, thanks Richard. Okay, bye. Good, good night, everybody. <laughs>